Hello awesome people, I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the 31 page short story called The Seven Black Priests. Uh, it's in this short story collection that we've been knocking out for you folks called Ilmet and Lankmar that collects some of these short stories that were published uh, with the Gray uh, Mouser and Fafford collection by Fritz Lieber. So that's what we'll be doing a review of last night. I knocked it out last night about an hour uh, for the second time. Uh, for you folks i've done a lot of reviews for them the first short story in this series was published in 1939 called two sought adventure uh, it was republished in this collection as jewels in the forest and other things too for so its name has been changed so if you're looking for it you might look for it and so forth uh, but anyway that was the first short story that fritz lieber published too uh, it, was, it was a couple of years after his uh um, uh, uh, he was he's sort of the protege of H.P. Lovecraft, who died in thirty-seven. So it was a couple of years later before Lovecraft saw him publish one of his works. He, they wrote back and forth as an aspiring writer. Anyway, uh, Fritz Lieber died in nineteen ninety-two, and he published uh, in every decade from the thirties to to the nineties. He was very, very, very prolific. He was a writing poor. He just did not make a whole lot of money from his works, despite the fact that he's one of the most rewarded people out there in terms of awards for example he's got lots of hugos he's got a stoker for his horror stuff uh, and we had reviewed five short stories in this collection uh in the fritz lieber uh and gray mouser collection for you folks prior to me going back and rereading these a few years ago uh, back in the first couple of years of this channel when i was not going back and rereading things to be fresh before doing a review or if i just read it new for the first time uh, so uh i stopped doing that a few years ago uh so um, I didn't do any more reviews since I stopped that policy. I also did two other reviews uh, from his stuff. One is a, a science fiction short story uh, that is in the Hall of Fame, according to the uh, Science Fiction Writers of America that published a book collecting all the best short stories in the Hall of Fame uh, for you folks, uh, and I've reviewed that for you. Um, I've also reviewed a short story in the Cthulhu Mythos, which is, since he was a Lovecraft a protege, that makes sense. Uh, in the 60s um in in october in my cthulhu mythos october that i've dedicated to that uh, so forth so anyway let's go ahead and start with my review then of the seven black priests which took me longer for me to read than the previous stories in this collection taking me i mean it was like 31 pages it took me like an hour typically i've been reading this on this regular size collection uh, much faster than that anyway let's go ahead and get started as a reminder the reviews in this channel are spoiler free uh, so I'm only going to give you like a quick little synopsis of what's happening. All right. So uh, Fritz Lieber is two two main characters uh, uh, in the Thieves Guild. They are adventuring in the uh, cold, icy wastes. Uh, they've been shipwrecked after something that happened between the previous two chapters. I'll, this is a sequel, if you will, of the previous one. But the previous one had them leaving on a ship. And now they are clearly been shipwrecked. So it's clearly a sequel to it in that sense but the shipwreck happens off screen we don't find out about that until a couple of chapters pages into the chapter but anyway they've been shipwrecked in the icy north and they're now adventuring through it and since Fafford is a northern barbarian he knows the area quite well and they're able to stay alive anyway uh, so they are attacked by a uh, black priest and he is a uh, and they're like he definitely seems out of touch here he's from like the the north uh, he's well, he's way too north. He's he definitely seems like he's definitely one of the more southern jungle people, um, to be up this north, uh, and so forth. So they're attacked and they kill him. Uh, and then the next day they come across an inscription uh, that talks about the area that they're able to translate. That's that's really really old, and it's also in the same tongue and runes uh, that in hieroglyphs that the language uh, is that the person that they discovered yesterday, which begins their I don't know what's happening here sort of thing. Uh, that that's happening uh and so now and it tells them that there are seven black priests that serve this ancient uh god in the area so and they've killed one of them so that's that's where the title of this story comes from the seven black priests uh since there are seven that they are going to encounter in this area anyway uh so so and so then some dark things will begin to happen uh and some things will happen that they shouldn't have done and they're because they're bad people and then they're, they'll be punished anyway so that's the short story nutshell again no spoilers uh, so anyway uh I, I thought this was fun i enjoyed it uh i'm glad i read it i'm probably i think he used uh the length well 
Uh, it wasn't too long or, or not long enough, so I'm going to be giving this a strong 8 out of 10 for you folks, uh, because he, Fritz Lieber definitely has, has advanced into his career. Now, this collection, one of the issues of it is, is that it does not publish his things chronologically as they are published, so you get a chance to grow with him over time from 1939 to 1992, uh, but then you all, it's published chronologically based on the timeline. So you might get two short stories that are back to back, and you might be like, this is very different, right? For example, I have, I've given eights and I've given sixes, right? <laughs> and I've also just recently given a seven uh, and a seven and a half in the last couple. So, right. Uh, so, so, you know, his, his means and his, you know, everybody, their, their skills improve over time, right? So I, I definitely want to point that out as an issue with this collection. I'll link you to it in the comments below. Fritz Liebers and this this series in particular hugely has influenced modern fantasy uh, because uh, thieves and thieves' guilds and a big giant city, all these things just didn't exist in fantasy prior. For example, the idea of a giant city, you know, previously you didn't have these this giant city, millions sized city uh, that dominates the plane and everybody goes there or has heard of it, right, uh, and so forth. And uh, and it's very very seedy. It's also the the, hap, the capital of a of a of a thieves guild, right? So that's also a key part. And these two characters are thieves, with, with uh, and are very very different. Uh, and they have skills just like thief characters in modern fantasy. So if you have thief characters in your thing or a thief skill with that that's a CD thing that controls the strings behind the strings, that can, um, uh, behind the scenes, and that also is in a giant city. These things are definitely things that come from this series. This thing is very, very influential on modern fantasy. So it's important for you to go out and read it. You know, as a reminder, the channel's name, The Worst Thing About New Books, was a quote by a French philosopher named Jacques Joubert, who said that the worst thing about new books was that they kept us from reading the old ones. So in this case, a guy who wrote this story starting in 1939, you know, and finishing decades later, but he's died in 92. Uh, so this is decades ago. So this is definitely older things that we've forgotten about or have heard about, but they just have never had a chance to go back and read. And this stuff is worth your time. Also, uh, this thing was mentioned in the 1979 work for a role-playing game called Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, that's a fantasy role-playing game that was co-created by Gary Gygax. And in this book, Gary Gygax has an appendix in, in where he lists all of the, the references that he used to create this. And this is name called. Also, this was created as a campaign series in the 80s for that, that game, too, because of how important it was uh, to setting things up. So, again, this stuff is heavily influential on modern fantasy. You just can't read it without it. Um, and for me, I enjoy going back and reading these things that have influenced and seeing where the things come from. It, it makes me enjoy it more. I don't know about you, but that, that's definitely a key part of me. Anyway, I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read Seven Black Priests by Fritz Lieber? Uh, if so, what do you think about it? Did you agree or disagree with my 8 out of 10? Let's talk about it in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? There's going to be a lot more days to follow. And then I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. And I appreciate it. So thanks again and have an amazing day.